Hello everybody Just out for a wee ride on the bike Thanks to all the recent protests and everything as far as I'm concerned lockdown is over So I thought I'd come across the other side of the lock, my house is over there In fact you can just see my house there And I thought I'd go and explore a couple of wee back roads Maybe do the Raiders Road So let's go I think I'm taking a left up here The road's all gravelly Right, so let's turn here And see where it goes Tons of gravel the other side to see further round the bend but the road's too narrow to get playing games like that with the I'm just getting used to this bike so I'll often be in the wrong gear but let's not worry about it. Back up through the dirt and the gravel. Oh this road's brilliant. Oh red kite right by me. It's too high a gear, I've no idea what gear I'm in. If I was on a road bike then I'd be clenching my buttocks. This wee bike's perfect for it. <laughs> If I was on the beast on the new I'd have my feet down. I'm assuming this is a road. Overhead cables, height restriction. Woo. It's a while since I've been used to having a bike but and letting it move under me. The tyres are at the normal road pressure. And in an ideal world I'd have let them down but I haven't brought a tyre pump with me. I'm assuming this is still a road. I said on the map it was a road. I don't want to upset any farmers or anything. Lovely. I should have switched the ABS off. <laughs> so if we go straight on down here, no big deal. Oh. I am not loose enough on the bike yet. Take me a wee bit to get used to it. Nice berm there if it was drier. I am definitely going to go one tooth lower on the front sprocket. It's a 14 tooth and it just has not quite got grunt instantly off the throttle so if I drop one gear it should be perfect I mean this is only the second time I've ridden this bike and I haven't ridden off road for years so I think 
Both the bike and I I've been it pretty well really I just wish I knew what gear to do and see that's too high a gear and it's made it difficult I really don't want to fall on top of all these things <laughs> That would be sore And a bit lighter helps. Right, which way does the road go? Private road that way, so this is public road then. Perfect. That was a nice wee bit. Might go back that way. So which way shall we go? That looks the bendier way, doesn't it? Oh, it's nice to be out on a bike again. Super slick gear change in this bike. The helmet's kind of pushing the specs into my face a bit. Bubbles! Hooray! <laughs> that was nice, driving through the wheel as it's bubbles. Parking area closed due to coronavirus. That's okay, we park wherever we want. No idea where I'm going. Cafe at Flashing Shaw is 10 miles. So we've got 10 miles of this. I'm going to stop in a minute and just adjust my spectacles. Everybody's way. the water <laughs> so 
Fucking <laughs> stiff, I'm no used to climbing off a bigger bike. Taller. Dirty my seat. Right, helmet off time, it's roasting. Whew. Ow! See if the camera's still on. Yep. Might be pointing at the sky a bit, but hey, battery's nearly done. So, there's the otter's pool. Oh, what glorious weather. And there's my wee toy bike. Lovely fun. As you can see, the tyres are in the real knobblies. They're half road, half dirt. But, I mean, it's a 20... Second part of 2018. And it's got on it a grand total of... Three hundred and six miles, <laughs> of which I've done thirty-five. There's the switch for the ABS. Oh, that looks like a power thing. It's got heated grips on it, back busters, rental bars, uh, RMG bash plate. I've put these a Cherbis frame guards on because I tend to put my heels in, I ride with my toes on the my toes on the pegs and my heels holding on there and my knees in there so I thought they'll save me buffing all the paint off. What else has it got? It comes it's got a rack on it already. It's completely sorted, it's got more than that, but hey, that is a super socket, isn't it? We'll explore that another time. You can switch off the rear ABS but not the front. Uh, the suspension isn't adjustable in the front, but you can adjust the preload on the spring on the rear. But look, it looks brand new. All that dirt on it is me. So, what a great wee bike. Fuel consumption's meant to be about, be about 60 to the gallon on it as well, which is outrageously good. <laughs> I'm used to like in the 40s. So I hope you've enjoyed my wee adventure. Adios amigo, there's a huge dragonfly there, the camera will never pick it up, but it's gigantic, it's the size of a wee bird. There's usually loads of chaffinches about here as well. But I need to get my jacket off, I'm melting. <laughs> Hang on, I'll see Churio in the mirror. See you later, gang. <laughs> Ciao.